Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk about scary wind-induced oscillations of the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Here is the video that shows these oscillations. A link to this video can be found in the description below. Before I start, I need to explain why is this bridge so special for me. Well, I used to live on Staten Island and consequently I used to drive almost once a week across this bridge because in order to go to Brooklyn you need to cross this bridge. And here you can see the map. So this is Staten Island and this is the Verzano Narrows Bridge and this part is Brooklyn. I remember well the splendid views of the upper and lower New York base that can be observed from the upper deck of the bridge. And here are some photos that I photographed from the upper deck of Verzano Narrows Bridge in 2017 and 2018. This photo shows the Atlantic Ocean and this part here is the Brooklyn side. Here's another photo and another photo made probably during the evening. So, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is a large scale structure. Its total length is around 4,000 meters. Its width is 31 meters. Its height is around 200 meters. And the longest span is around 1,300 meters. So, beyond any doubt, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is an amazing engineering piece of work. And moreover, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is one of the main symbols of New York City. However, there are some things that I don't like about this bridge. First of all, in order to drive across the bridge, it is necessary to pay expensive tolls. So according to the Wikipedia page, a one-way toll in 2020 was $9.50. And even after the Easy Pass toll discount that is applicable to the Staten Island residents, we must admit that this is an expensive fee, taking into account that the median household income of the New York City residents is, as you can see over here, around $60,000. So this article is not about tolls and I will stop complaining about the living expenses in New York City. This article is about a YouTube video that I showed at the beginning of this video. And let us closely observe this video once more. So, the first thing to notice is that the oscillations are in the transverse direction. The second thing to notice, somewhere around 20th second or 23rd second, is that bridge segments are not rigidly connected. And finally, my last impression after watching this video is that this video reminds me of the video showing the collapse of the Common Arrows Bridge. And the video can be seen over here. So the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapsed in 1940 and here you can see the oscillations of the bridge structure for example from, C, from here you can see it clearly and this was really a scary event. At the end, the bridge collapsed. 
and here's the video showing the bridge destruction. I don't think that Verzano Narrows Bridge will collapse due to these oscillations and I'm almost 99.999% sure that the bridge designers were able to anticipate such high winds and they were able to design the bridge structure such that it can withstand these oscillations. On the other hand, I'm not an expert in structural mechanics and in oscillation of bridges. Consequently, I'm not 100% sure about the main reason behind these oscillations. So, it is apparent that these oscillations are induced by wind of high intensity. However, I believe that there is some structure fluid and fluid structure interaction that is creating these oscillations and that sustains them. All I know that mechanical engineering students in the fluid dynamic class are learning about our elastic flutter. And here's a Wikipedia page about the our elastic flutter. My understanding is that the forces that are induced by our elastic flutter are responsible for the collapse of the Tahoma Narrows Bridge in 1940. Moreover, in the case of the Tahoma Narrows Bridge, the oscillations were torsional. And you can observe these torsional oscillations by watching the video. I think the best view is from here. On the other hand, the wind-induced oscillations of the Verzano Narrows Bridge were in the transverse direction. So let's see these oscillations. Here they are, here they are. As I mentioned, I don't want to raise panic and to say that the Verzano Narrows Bridge is unsafe. I'm sure that mechanical and structural engineers designing bridges have learned the lessons from the collapse of the Tahoma Narrows Bridge and that these lessons are implemented in the design of the Verzano Narrows Bridge. In any case, the MTA, or the Metropolitan Transportation Authority of New York City, closed the bridge and they reopened it when the wind intensity decreased. Thank you very much for your attention. That would be all for today. Have a nice day.